You cannot overcome something which does not exist. To not be in fear, you don't have to do anything. So your fear, your fear is always about that which does not exist. Fear means you're producing horror movies in your mind. If you're suffering the non-existential, we call that insanity. Many times uh, in my daily life, uh, fear stops me from doing uh, small things and bigger things. Fear uh, from failure, fear from uh, maybe from rejection sometimes. <coughs> uh, how to overcome this fear? You cannot overcome something which does not exist. Right now, are you in fear? Right now, that I may say something damaging. <laughs> Is it the fear? <laughs> Every moment of your life you're in fear? No. So, when you're not in fear, just stay like that. Because to create fear, you have to use excessive imagination. To not be in fear, you don't have to do anything. Fear is happening because of excessive imagination, things that have not happened, you're creating. What may happen in your mind happens in thousand different formats and most probably it never happens. The things that you have feared, take hundred things that you have feared, probably ninety-nine of them never happened, isn't it? Yes. So your fear, your fear is always about that which does not exist. You cannot fight or you cannot overcome that which does not exist. We can overcome something that exists. You cannot overcome that which does not exist. You just have to give up that effort. Enjoy the fear. After all, it's your making. You like horror movies. Yes, uh, I mean, you're saying no, but you're, you're producing them. It's just they're not making money, that's all. <laughs> fear means you're producing horror movies in your mind. Nobody else is willing to watch. That's bad for the producer, but you're producing them. So, you produce something else, produce a comedy, a love story, suspense, thriller. Try and see today, just sit down, produce a love story, a suspense thriller, a comedy, five, five minutes mo movies you make in your mind, really. Start using your mind differently. It's just gotten into your pattern. Just gotten into your pattern of just creating horror movies all the time. You have watched enough horror movies, they're boring. Create something else. <laughs> Even it's not that if you produce these movies, those things will happen in your life. Still they may not happen, at least you enjoy the movie. <laughs> In reality, it may not happen, so what? At least you enjoy what's happening in your mind, if you cannot enjoy what's happening in the world, isn't it? That much privilege every human being deserves, isn't it so? Even if the world is not kind to him, at least his own mind should be kind to him, should produce some nice movies. <laughs> the fear is simply because you are not living with life, you are living in your mind. Your fear is always about what's going to happen next. That means your fear is always about that which does not exist. If your fear is about the non-existent, your fear is hundred percent imaginary. If you're suffering the non-existential, we call that insanity. So, people may be in just socially accepted levels of insanity, but if you're afraid or if you're suffering anything which does not exist, it amounts to insanity, isn't it? People are always suffering either what happened yesterday or what may happen tomorrow. 
So your suffering is always about that which does not exist, simply because you're not rooted in reality. You're always rooted in your mind. Mind is one part of it is memory, another part of it is imagination. Both of them are in one way imagination, because both of them don't exist right now. You're lost in your imagination, that's the basis of your fear. If you were rooted in reality, there would be no fear.